Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my third leaderboard for Miss World 2021. Now that Miss Universe is over with our winner Mexico's Andrea Meza, we are now on our way to two pageants, Miss Supranational and Miss World. But of course, this leaderboard will feature my current top 15 for Miss World 2021. And here they are in order of my favorites. I did not follow the regional selection just like what they did in the two previous years because of course the format could change just like what we saw in Miss Universe that the format wasn't followed. So I'll ju I just took it randomly for now based on this leaderboard so here's my top 15 starting with my number 15 Nepal Namrata Shrestha as one of the consistent placers in Miss World I am also expecting a strong fight from this country after a few months since my last leaderboard I have seen how she transformed beauty wise and that made me see the potentials in her hoping to see more as I follow her journey Number 14, Slovakia. Leona Novoberdalu. If we just look at it purely based on beauty of face, I think she will be very, very high on this list. But Miss World is not is all about everything in you as a candidate and as a person. If Leona have prepared based on what Miss World wants in a winner, she could win. Her social media are filled with her stunning photos and I am impressed with her beauty. But I need to see more, especially when it comes to social projects and beauty with a purpose. Number 13, Poland. Karolina Wiewlawska, she is a volunteer and a management student, one of my sentimental favorites this year and someone that I'm truly looking forward to see in the competition because she is super gorgeous. Since the Miss World is coming close, I would love to see more of her beauty with a purpose or more of her preparations for Miss World pageant. Number 12, Ecuador. Amar Pacheco. Amar is one of the candidates that I'm keeping my eye on. She is beautiful and she is also very very active in social works which we know is very important in this world. I have been following her social media posts and that's one thing that I liked about her. Ecuador's last placement was in 2015. Number 11. Puerto Rico. Ariam Diaz Rosado, our host country girl this year. She must be very, very pleased that the Miss World pageant will be held in her country, Puerto Rico. I see so much potentials in her beauty, especially with the right styling. She is just one of the recently crowned candidates in Miss World, so I am really looking forward to see from this amazing and beautiful candidate. Number 10, Panama. Cristel Barreto. She finished in the top 10 of Miss Supernational 2019 and her performance in that pageant was the reason why I think she could potentially do well in Miss World 2. Recently, she has been very active in distributing school supplies, face masks, and face shield in one of the communities in her country. Aside from that, she's very beautiful. She's actually a very, very beautiful contender who knows how to work well and who, and I know, you know, who I'm sorry, who knows how to work herself very well on stage. I don't know what happened there. Number nine, Costa Rica. Andrea Montero, she is the founder of Inspiring Kids Costa Rica and also an ambassador of HOPE, which stands for Hunger Organization for People Everywhere. Their last placement was in 1986 and it would be great to see Costa Rica make a comeback because she's also beautiful and a decent, decent contender. Number eight, Guatemala. Shanice Palacios, one of the most stunning candidates that we have this year, whether in motion or in photos, I think she looked absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if it's going to be her Beauty with a Purpose project, but she's working with veterinarians to help medical needs of different kind of pets, which is kind of unique and amazing. Also, she was Miss Teen Nicaragua in 2016, and this would speak of her experience in beauty pageants. Number seven, Vietnam. Do Thi Ha, with a track record of Vietnam, I would definitely rely on them when it comes to preparing their candidates. They have sent a facially stunning candidate this year. Aside from that, she's just everywhere. 
from planting trees, doing some activities with children, visiting far-flung areas, and even riding a piece of wood with empty jars underneath just to cross the river. Wow. I mean, this made me excited about her beauty with a purpose because this is one of Vietnam's strength in Miss World. Number six, Trinidad and Tobago. Janine Brandt. They have found once again another another strong representative after taking home the Miss World Caribbean title last 2019. This year, Janine is the founder of the Brand Beauty Foundation which helps empower disadvantaged girls in the entire country. This is also her Beauty with a Purpose entry which believes that all girls are beautiful. Janine isn't only a beautiful candidate but her hard work towards her social works is something that we need to admire. Number five, Indonesia. Priscilla Carla Yules. Beauty wise, I think Carla is one of the facially stunning candidates that Indonesia have sent in Miss World. And if she wins, I bet no one will disagree, especially if we look at her beauty wise. Indonesia is so good in preparing their candidate in Miss World, which is why I believe that Carla will be a force in the competition. I saw one of her posts being a part of Beda Ruma GTV where she became a host and was given the chance to experience how the most vulnerable people in the society live from day to day and I truly enjoyed that post very very much. I am glad that she is very active in doing all of her social works. Number four, the United States. Alisa Andreg, I am seeing huge poten potentials for USA to do extremely well this year. Alisa is super beautiful, loved her confidence and her personality, and most importantly, her work towards her beauty with a purpose, which, which focused on raising awareness about Alzheimer's disease. I believe that is extremely powerful. She also won the Beauty with a Purpose award during her national pageant when she competed. I have seen how she transformed and have prepared in the past few months through her social media and I can feel that she is ready to do very well and bring back United States on top. Me number three, India. Manasa Varanasi, after their successful third place finish last Miss World 2019, this time India is coming for another Miss World crown. Manasa is very, very strong and I mean actually she's one of the strong contenders in terms of beauty and overall quality as a contender. She speaks very well and as a Miss World powerhouse, I will not be shocked if Manasa will stay as a front runner till the finals and possibly take home their seventh Miss World crown. The more I follow her journey in social media, she is cementing herself even more as a solid and clear crown contender. May number two. Venezuela. Alejandra Conde, the past two winners of Miss World were all from the Americas, Mexico in 2018 and Jamaica in 2019. And if this continent will continue its win this 2021, I believe it can most likely be achieved by Venezuela's Alejandra Conde. We have to remember that since Ivian Sarkos won in 2011, they had five non-placements and only three, and they only placed three times and their highest is top 30 which for a powerhouse is, isn't a very flattering record. And with those years, I believe that they have already learned enough and I think Alejandra this year could go very far. She is very beautiful. I mean, one of the best faces that we have this year. Consistently stunning. Plus, she has been very active in her social works, which gives me more hope that she is someone to watch out for this year. But as of the moment, my number one and my current leader for my third leaderboard for Miss World 2021 is South Africa. Should have had Somosida. Let me repeat this over and over again in my Miss World leaderboard. I, ex I, ex I expect nothing less from Should have had Zo. I cannot imagine her not making it in the top three and the possibility of her winning is much higher than the possibility of her finishing as a runner-up. They have changed the standards of beauty in a superb and gorgeous way in Miss Universe with the victory of Zozi and I believe Miss World can do the same with the possible victory of Shudof Hadzo. She is just beyond phenomenal when it comes to beauty and how she works on her advocacy on mental health and I have watched most of her videos on her Instagram account and she never failed to amaze me with how she speaks with so much passion, wit, and relatability and I believe should have had to is going to come for the crown this year and I will not be surprised anymore if South Africa wins 
Miss World 2021. So that's it. This is my current leaderboard, my third leaderboard for Miss World 2021. I would love to know your favorites. And if your favorites, are, did your favorites make it on my list? And are there any ladies whom you think deserves to be in the list? I would love to know your thoughts about it. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.